So we're gonna watch some movies today. Um, we've picked these ahead of time, but Wizard has not seen them yet, so. What is Russian um, Terminator about? Uh, programmed to kill, not afraid to die. The Russian Terminator, ellipsis. Uh, <laughs> it just trails off like that. A ruthless, <laughs> a ruthless underground weapons and drug organization is out to undermine the growing relations between East and West. Their plan is to extort the necessary information from a powerful Western government official by kidnapping his daughter's fiance. A former FBI agent recruited by the West to wipe out the terrorists and foil their plan. Ellipsis. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that in here. But the, but the KGB has its own strategy for crushing this conspiracy. A mysterious one-man death squad known only as the Russian Terminator. Uh, the body count rises quickly as these two warriors race against time and each other in this explosive action adventure. I bet. She's got Betty Davis oh. Russian Terminators. <laughs> yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think maybe the title was changed. Because these all look like actual titles on the film, and that yeah. was like superimposed was on a freeze frame. Yeah. No. We don't have to know what's going on in the scene to show people shooting. It's acceptable so far. <laughs> it's exciting for a crappy movie. Sure. It's a really good job there. Yeah. So many it's a lot of henchmen, though. There's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just the same. That's so they can use the same three actors over and over. Uh, so the movie should really be called Russian Ninja. Yeah, it hasn't really turned oh. out. Oh! Hey, why did you do that? You can't hit me at point blank range, you're so slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. So let's try and decipher Russian Terminator. Wizard, what do you think the plot was? Papers. Papers? Papers. Somebody wanted the papers and somebody else needed the papers and somebody else stole the papers, but then the one guy had the papers. Papers. But then they kidnapped the girl because they thought she had the papers, but she didn't have the papers. Papers. Uh, and then it was her father who was kidnapping and having the papers all along, and they were his papers. They knew where the papers were the whole time, though. They were yeah. in the factory. This is the paper they want. Okay, what do we do now? But there was one paper that was in a different drawer in a different part of the factory. But the thing is, is she wasn't even really kidnapped. It was her boyfriend who was kidnapped, and then she had to give them the papers, but then there was a paper missing from the papers, yeah. and her father knew that, and he was paying Kenny Rogers $200,000 to... To... Never really get, clear to what to get he was the doing. Papers. I think he was supposed to get the papers. And he was supposed to get the papers, but, he, no. but the dad knew that there was a paper missing, and, and we didn't then, even talk, we haven't even talked about Phil Davis at all. Phil well, Davis is the, the, the younger version of Kenny Rogers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, Phil Davis kind of epitomizes the whole movie because where did we decide this movie was made? Where did we figure? Oh, it's, it's Scandinavia it's somewhere. Scandinavian country. Yeah, so there's there's lots of Larses and yeah, yeah and but they're the, all speaking English, and it becomes clear as you're watching it that this is a movie made uh, by Scandinavians mm -hmm. that's meant to be an American action movie yeah. about a Russian Terminator. And Phil Davis, uh, maybe it's the case with the other actors, but it's definitely clear with him that he learned his lines phonetically. Yeah. And English is not a language he's very familiar with. No. It's like it's like the old man from uh, Temple of Doom. On the way to Delhi, you will stop at Bangkok. Uh, the old oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. You will go to Bangkok Palace. Uh, where he's just literally reading sounds, yeah. and he has no idea what the fuck he's saying. That's yeah. that's how every actor in this sounds like. What do you want from me? I'm busy. I don't understand what you're talking about. This girl, does she has a name? Probably. Yeah, that's how that's how you end up where people are, are putting inflections on the wrong words. Yes, wow. and it sounds which wrong. Which creates the best line yeah. in the movie. Oh, yes, which is? Go ahead, Jay. It's You've earned it. And that's what friends are for. So you will help me? That's what friends are for. It's obvious, though, that once this movie was completed, someone had to either market it or try and sell it. And the movie has nothing to do with the Russian Terminator. He's he's a there, minor character. He's like the Boba Fett. Well, he's not yeah. even a Terminator no though. Russian he's a ninja. He's the Russian ninja. The, the movie, they call they do call him at one point the Russian 
Ninja. The movie should have been called they Russian Ninja. Ninja. They just say Russian Ninja. They yeah. Call ah. the Russian Ninja. I wonder if that was the original title that they changed to, to capitalize on the Terminator I guess name. Russian Ninja is not a very good title either. No. But, but he's such a minor character. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's the thing that kind of ties all the betrayals and double crosses all together, but yeah. it's not a movie about the Russian Terminator. He's just a character in it. So they say, well, what, what's this movie? Yeah. Yeah. Old, old Kenny Rogers in a beard walks around? Yeah. Or Russian Terminator. Which title do you go with? <laughs> oh, I would walks watch around, old Kenny Rogers. Walks, walks around, around looking bored. But he barges into the Sybaris pool suites and starts, <laughs> and starts beating the shit out of a guy. That's some of the highlights of the movie when it's cutting back and forth between those two, oh. having their their banter. Yeah. We both fucked up. What the hell is this? I've seen one of those before. <laughs> I've, I've seen one of those before. I'm gonna make a soundboard just for that guy. Yeah. Yeah? Who is this? It's Bill Davis. Bill oh, his name is Phil! <laughs> Fuck you! Bill this Davis. just made the movie! I am normal American man! <laughs> Bill Davis! Did we ever find out why they go to the Sybaris pool suites? Like the, the right scene, after the, the scene the before, failed, there, yeah, there, there's a failed uh, robbery. Or, no, that's that's where she takes the papers, takes, yeah, and first. then they're like, "That's these, these are not enough papers. We need more papers to paper," and then, <laughs> right? and then, uh, then immediately right after she, she leaves and gets in the car, and Phil Davis tells her the story about how he got attacked by the Russian ninja. It's like, guess what happened to me? This crazy guy, and then they are swimming. Yeah. Well. Do you know what happened to me? Some goddamn asshole dressed in black attacked me. Yeah, oh, everybody cool. moves very slow in this yeah, movie. Particularly the ninja. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh no, be careful, Kenny Run. I'm still kind of like. <laughs> 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 that was a great punch right there. Did you see that? Just. <laughs> oh no, he's confused. You bastard. There was the there was the slow ninja fight scene um, at Kenny Rogers' house um, where him and his right, husband right at the lived. beginning. Yeah. Yeah, where him and his husband. Yeah, where they <laughs> live. <laughs> hey, his wife was beautiful. How do you look like David Coverdall? Well, the, the other movie is the one with Shane Simmons and drag, right? <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about his sweatshirt. I, that, I'm going to make it my life's goal to find that sweatshirt. Describe the sweatshirt for the audience, Jay. The, well, the sweatshirt has planes on it. Like fighter jets. Yes. Like fighter jets randomly, and then there's like little patterns behind it. You know, it's one of those shirts, like I have a, <laughs> I have a friend that lives in Korea, and he'll, when he comes back to visit, he'll bring a shirt that he bought in Korea, and it'll just have random American words on it oh, and yes. images. Huh? That's what that shirt felt like. Like they had a shirt that looked like, this is American shirt. <laughs> it's got planes and words that are in English. That's what it felt like. <laughs> what? So, obvious the creators of Russian Terminator wanted to make an American style action movie. They threw in all sorts of elements that didn't make any sense and <laughs> slapped the movie together. I, I get the impression that they didn't speak English but they watched a lot of American action movies and then tried to write something in, in the best English they could that would replicate an American action movie. Yeah. And that's why it comes across so confusing but, but because they because, don't understand what's happening in their own movie. Just because you're foreign and you're trying to write in a different language doesn't uh, make up for the lack of complete logic, <laughs> though, you know? What? Yeah, what, what like, was right. up with that? The Russian ninja. He, <laughs> He slowly got away. He pulled the guy out of the helicopter and he yeah. awkwardly fell on the floor. It looks like they really filmed that though, without yeah. any stunt work or no, cables sure, or anything. Yeah. They just like, hover the helicopter, I'll just climb up on it. Mm -hmm. they did. Someone yeah. might get hurt, I don't know. Uh, it really looks like that, so it's like, hey, neat. You have a problem. You're gonna die. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, the catchphrase, yeah. the action catchphrase. You got the problem. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, what's the consensus on Russian Terminator? Uh, good, bad? 
bad bad? Is it? Is it? It's it's right in that line between frustrating bad and good bad. There's but parts I, of it that are really funny. Yeah. I think it's just above it due to there was enough you could puzzle through for fun and you know sort of make up. Yeah. You know, it's like trying to actually sew the parts together was fun. Whereas in a lot of movies that might just be, I don't give a shit, just yeah, get the up. papers and whatever. But no, it was like, oh, who's that? What are they doing? Why are they doing that? Wait a minute, what did he just say? And... Where's everybody going? Where's everybody walking? Yeah. Where is everybody in relation to everyone? Yeah. Sometimes and, a yeah. complete bizarre confusion can be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when two main characters just show up in a swimming pool for yeah. no reason. Yeah. You are my enemy. You have seen my face, so you have to die. Oh yeah?